Hello, my name is Coleman Berry, and for Genetics 311 Exam Mini Video Prompt 5-2, I'm going to be talking to you about DNA fingerprinting analysis. On today's episode of Crime Watchers, Jim boat is, Jim's boat is stolen from the boat dock while they are camping. Jim and his family are out on their boat on Lake Tillery enjoying the nice sunny weather when they decide to go back to their tents and dock the boat for the night. When they wake up the next morning, the boat is gone. That morning, Jim called the sheriff's department to report his boat as stolen. Detective Stone came out to the crime scene, questioned Jim and his family, collected any and all DNA evidence that he could find, and put together a lineup of suspects. Detective Stone pulls five suspects into his lineup. All five of these suspects were at the boat dock at some point last night. Suspect number one, Adam, is the lake security guard who has a previous record of stealing. Suspect number two, Mark. Suspect number three, Alex, number four, Sam, and number five, Andy, were all camping at the lake around the boat dock. Suspect number four, Sam, is the father of suspect number three, Alex. Before the detective was able to detain all suspects, the boat was found damaged in an untrafficked area of the lake. The detective found two complete sets of fingerprints on the steering wheel to help with identifying the suspects. These DNA samples were amplified using processes like PCR and gel electrophoresis. DNA sequences can be identified based on how long these segments are. First, the DNA segments are replicated using PCR, and then the wells on the gel electrophoresis were loaded with the fragments on the gel pad. As indicated in the picture here, the top of the gel is the negative end, and the bottom is the positive end. DNA will work its way down the gel. DNA for two VNTR loci were ran. These were the prints from the steering wheel. Then, the DNA fingerprints were created. This can assist in determining which suspect has which allele. Immediately, Detective Stone notices that Sam is Alex's father. Each parent gives a child one allele. In Locus 1, Sam and Alex match at this allele. The other locus would be coming from Alex's mother. In Locus 2, Sam and Alex match again, so his father gave him that allele, and the other came from his mother. Adam and Mark are an exact match to sample one at locus one. In order to be a suspect, they must match at the second sample as well. At the second locus, Adam and Andy are an exact match to sample one. Because Adam was at the exact match at sample one, and at locus one and two in sample one, Detective Stone can confirm that sample one was Adam's DNA. For sample two, Sam and Andy were an exact match at Locus 1 and Mark and Sam at Locus 2. Because Sam was an exact match at Locus 1 and 2, this can confirm that the sample 2 is Sam's DNA.